My name is Ebony Hutchinson, and I'm the proud principal of the Promise Academy at William Wells Brown. So William Wells Brown is definitely a family. We are a tight-knit community. Um, we bring our families in, we engage our families in our learning process, whether it's during the school day, after the school day. We're a family. This neighborhood is a family. And so if we can set, set our school up with a family atmosphere with, um, you know, the great staff with the, that comes with the those experiences that you know we may not necessarily get um, straight from this neighborhood, but we can grow our kids to you know not just reach our neighborhood and better our neighborhood, but grow and branch out and better other neighborhoods. Staff here really seem to care about my son. Um, he's always talking about them and the positive influence they are for him. It is a big family. We all care about each other. They're nice, caring. I just love that we are a caring community. Uh, we care for our families, we care for our staff, and for our students here. And we always try to go above and beyond um, what the needs are in our community. We uh, take pride in going into the classroom daily, um, helping, supporting the teacher, especially if they understand the child behaviors are not where they need to be. And there's some things that we need to just like help teach them to do better at so that they can be successful in the classroom. Every person in this building is dedicated to giving all children what they need, but particularly we offer services for our English learners, their families. We offer family support. We have parents that have gone through our face, um, our family and community engagement center are currently working. We offer anything you need, we're there for you. So if it's education, higher education that they want to um, seek, my position is going to connect them to services, whether that is a GED, whether that is finishing high school, whether that is completing college. William Wells Brown is so important to the community because it's synonymous with community. You have people from the community that work here that are invested in the community. So it's not just a school. Um, it's a community center. It's a place of refuge. It's a place where people can come together. And not all schools are like that. Um, these aren't boxes that are being checked. Um, but there's a true investment um, in the people um, at William Wells Brown. Our community center is in um, the back of our school and they provide the after support. So we know that school just doesn't happen between, you know, the hours of the official school day. So we have to be able to reach our students and our families and our community outside of that time. So the community center partners with um, our school. We partner with the community center and they provide um, some extra support in our after school program as well as during our summer program. They provide um, healthy living classes, extra exercise classes for um, not just our students within the building, but families and our community as well. We also have a full clinic um, in our building. So we have nurses and uh, mental health specialists that are within the clinic, a doctor that is there that runs as a full doctor's office. And so that's helpful for us. If we have students during the school day, they get sick, we can send them there, but also students can go there and get their physicals, um, any kind of you know health assessments that they need done there. And you know that can be done during school hours um, as well as right after school. We could not do what we do without our community partners. They provide not only the physical things that we may need, but also just support. Yeah, William Wells Brown is vital to the East End community. Um, I think the word important uh, may be a slight understatement. Um, I feel like it's vital uh, simply because there's a lot of history um, and a lot of rich history right here on this ground where William Wells Brown sits, um, having been a place where uh, this was a predominantly black, low-income neighborhood. <clears throat> the inner-city housing projects were here. 
Uh, we refer to them as Brick City, but it was Bluegrass Aspendale, um, housing projects. Uh, my family, along with many other families, uh, grew up here and they weren't rich with wealth or money, but they were rich in a lot of love and uh, community partnerships um, and endearment that way. There's a history that's being upheld. Um, this is where a lot of our, our community resides. And so for me, um, there's a legacy and a lineage that is uphold. So when I see these children, I see my mom that grew up um, in East End in the 50s and 60s. And so um, legacy is what I see when I think of the William Wells Brown community. Uh, for myself, it's more of an honor to be able to partner. I used to play ball out here. Uh, you know, spent a lot of time out here growing up, and so to see the changes that East End has gone through historically, uh, even in recent history, and then to see how this has uh, come to a flashpoint and the role that William Wells Brown has in keeping this firm East End community together has definitely been an honor to me as a community partner to be a part of it. Uh, community partner, uh, a lot of times uh, when, you, when you think about it, uh, obviously the community has that word unity uh, within it. And so uh, for me, I think about unity and, and what that means and bringing people together, bringing resources together uh, for the bettering, obviously, of the community. Um, so in, in thinking about that specific word, uh, you know, bringing the unity into different partnerships. I believe that partnerships is how you grow, both individually and collectively. So in order for both the school and the community to grow, the partnerships must be established in order to make sure that all the kids and their families are thriving. So my position at the school is to connect our families and students to community partners and build relationships um, among all three family, school, and community. There's a professional aspect of community partnership. This is coming together to uh, do programming. Then there's also a genuine partnership of, of like-minded individuals who all value cultivating a good community and that's the feeling I get when I'm here at William Wells Brown. So we reach out to community partners who come in and volunteer their time who share with our students about how they got where they are. They share with them about how they became an entrepreneur or how they started um, to work in law. So they share with them so that they understand that I may only be in you know elementary school but this is where I can possibly be one day. Police Activities League partnership is vital because we need that positive interaction to better understand and know and have a compassion for the plight in people's lives and where they're coming from and what they might be dealing with at home as it relates to some of the things that they may have to make choices to engage in or not. Um, and so it's vitally important for us to have that relationship and that positive uh, interaction. I'm in partnership with Will Wells Brown and PAL. Hey, both of us served this community for a very long time. Uh, PAL started in 1985 and it started in this community right here. East End is still one of the most underserved parts of Lexington, right? And so, um, again, I keep using the adage of it takes a village. And so I feel like people got to support. We got to lift ourselves up. Um, if we don't, who else will? And so I believe that's why it's important for community partners to come back into William Wells Brown and invest because our kids need to see that it's possible. They need to see the other side. We are building a community of learning and we want our students to know that we are in school to learn, but also that they know that we are continuously learning as adults. So myself as the principal, our teachers, um, professional learning for our staff is you know, one of our top things that we focus on to make sure that we're providing our, our students with a world-class educational experience. We want our staff to be lifelong learners because the more the adults know, the more the kids will learn. So at William Wells Brown, students are promoted and they identify as lifelong learners. And it's so important that our teachers do too. And Principal Hutchinson promotes that and urges us to find those professional development opportunities um, so we can better ourselves as educators. Um, we are bringing in um, top notch um, professionals that are coming in to train our teachers and staff to make sure that they are continuously learning because we want our students to make sure that they are getting the best of the best. It takes a real leader like Principal Hutchinson to want to have an extra set of like eyes 
and ears on what kids are receiving because it is the chief responsibility of a principal to provide children with access to an instructional ecosystem or an instructional learning environment that's fully conducive to the process of teaching and learning. And sometimes roadblocks that administrators and coaches and teachers have to giving kids that access, sometimes it lies in leadership practices. So Principal Hutchinson said, has said, come on in and look at my instructional leadership practices. Tell me what I'm missing here. Uh, help me to see my blind spots for the sake of the children and the families who are being served in the community. And so a leader who is you know, truly concerned about the community that, that they serve, they want an extra set of eyes and ears, uh, not necessarily just to critique them, but to help them to um, develop themselves so they can pass that on to the teachers who are closer to the work of serving kids. I will say to you that the biggest thing that I have seen change here at Will Williams Brown Promise Academy is that the culture is really about teaching kids the best that they can teach and that students are learning and teachers are teaching every single day. This is my third year here and I have seen the growth from three years ago to now and boy are we changing and things are happening here. Absolutely. So we have, um, within our school day, we go an extended school day. Um, we have Colts time, which is creating, organizing, and learning towards success, where students are given choice um, as to what they would like to learn about during that time. We um, do a different session. We do three sessions per year. At the end of each session, there's an exhibition night where students are able to present their project-based learning to their families, to their peers, and to the community to share what they've learned during that time. So that's a time where our students are able to apply their learning. So they're able to put into context their reading, their math, their social studies, their science, their writing, um, all of those different subject areas into application to a project that they're able to share. Um, it's a highly engaging time for our kids and our staff members where we get to partner with community members and provide experiences for our students that they might not otherwise get outside of the school time. During our cult time, we focus our projects around project-based learning so that kids can see a purpose for why we're teaching them what we're teaching them. We've been doing art, and my art thing is like, like this. It's like overlapping, it's under, and then these are just pushing together. I had some help from my art teacher with this. I did it, she traced my hands, and I added the friendship bracelets, and, it, and the theme is called Friendship is Electric. We have a win time, which is what I need, which provides each student basically what it says, what they need. So it could be an intervention, they could be an enrichment, but that's a 30 minute school wide block every single day where it's an all hands on deck. Um, I teach a group, our assistant principal teaches a group. So every student is placed in a group based on where they are and what they need within reading. Yeah, she sometimes teaches us during um morning meeting and also during wind time. What I like most about my school is that it helps you learn a lot of new things that you don't know about. A lot of teachers help me out with what I need and I'm just grateful to have them here. So we want our students to know that reading is important. It just doesn't happen during, you know, your hour and a half, two hour block of reading class. We have a reading nook that's outside of the cafeteria. We have redesigned our library media center so that that is going to be the hub of our school where students just want to be. We are super excited about our library because we are in the process of renovating. We are renovating because we want to give our students the very best and we want to provide them with the best opportunities. We plan to do that by incorporating a maker space so they can build their social skills as well as a writing space so they can continue to grow their writing. The William Wells Brown Library is the place where you want to bring your students. 
Um, we just have um, all types of things that are going on in this building. Another um, area is our elective specials. Um, along with our special area time, our elective specials, students are placed in smaller groups and our specialists are able to provide um, a smaller amount of time for students that are more focused within their area. So for instance, our STEM teacher um, teaches robotics or coding. Our PE teacher could do a unit on golf. Um, so each of those um, teachers are able to focus in our particular area of their content. In my classes, um, we do tons of different things to keep the kids engaged. Um, this year we started coding with our kindergarten and first grade students using the brand new Sphero Indie robots. Um, so kids are being introduced to coding um, at an early age. My favorite thing about William Mills Brown is that it's about specials math, reading, STEM, music, library, and cults, and also elective specials. My favorite teacher is Mr. Wright, my homeroom teacher, because he pushes us to do harder uh, when, when we're like, so we won't give up on ourselves. But they also try and make school fun for us. They have like multiple field trips for us to go see places. For example, one time, one of my favorite ones was when we went to a water park. That was one of my favorite field trips that we went on. 